Hi guys, it's Erica and I'm here um, with another video. Here I am, bare faced, scarf on, just <laughs> looking a hot mess right now. But um, like I said in my last video, which I will link down below on my um, haul, on my influencer refresh Vox box that I received, I would be doing a review on the Montanique Janice Black Seaweed Peel Off Mask. Um, so again, this is what it looks like. And it's an ultra deep cleansing straight from the sea. It has lavender seaweed and sea buckthorn on it. And at the top it says for clear, healthy, glowing skin used weekly. I only have one of these, but like I told you, or like I said in my last video, this retails for about $1.49. And they are sold at Mass Grocery and some other local stores. I haven't actually seen it in the store. I haven't been looking for it, but now that I received it, I'm going to see if I can go find it in the store because they have different um, kinds to try. I know they have like a Manuka honey one that I would like to try. And they have tons of other products that I like to try also. So I'm going to leave um, the links to Montanique Janice uh, to their website, their Facebook. They believe they have their Twitter page, Instagram page, and also um, their Pinterest. Their Pinterest has a lot of different products that they um, have and also, I believe this is based out of the UK. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to use this on camera. It says to cleanse my face, which I have already done. To apply it, wait 15 to 20 minutes, and then peel gently. So it's supposed to be a peel-off mask. And I've been looking for a good mask to use that's really inexpensive. I don't want to spend um, much on a mask or anything like that I'm not really into the high-end stuff I'm more of a drugstore type of person because I'm always budget conscious budget friendly you know I like to do the beauty on a budget thing so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and open it so of course this is black seaweed I'm assuming of course it's going to be black almost like one of those charcoal type masks um, the smell of it it smells like it doesn't stink or anything like that. It smells kind of fresh, really. Squeeze it out. So yeah, it's really black, like <laughs> black, black. I was expecting it to be like a little gray or something in it, but um, that's what it looks like on my hand. It's like black. I'm going to go ahead and start applying this to my face. If anybody's interested on the uh, natural, you know, animal cruelty side of it, it's cruelty free, vegetarian standard. It says we're vegetarian, animals are our friends. That's why we don't bash bunnies or add bits of animals. Okay. I'm going to let this sit for the 15 to 20 minutes and just relax and let it dry on my face. And then I'm going to come back and peel it off. So, see you guys in a few. Alright guys, I'm back and <laughs> it's really funny trying to talk with this um, on my face because my face is really tight. Um, you can kind of see right here, I was talking earlier to my husband and um, when it dried up, it started kind of peeling already. But um, the lighting that I have makes it looks like, look like it's wet, like really glossy. But um, actually my um, whole face is dry already. So um, it's really, really tight. Um, besides what I had with talking loosened up here, but everywhere else is really, really tight. So I feel like, you know, it might do something. I feel like it's going to pull those dirt, um, and unclog my pores and all the other good stuff like that. So let's go ahead and start trying to peel. <laughs> I was doing this to my face, right? Like pulling and it's so tight. It kind of hurts. So I suggest you don't do that, but. 
I think I did it just a little bit so I can start peeling off, but this side did better than the other, so peel off gently. Don't just rip it off your face because otherwise it's not going to get a good feeling, especially if it's caught on little hairs. Um, So far, I really, really like how it's pulling off. Like... Sometimes I think of masks when they like when they say pull off masks, like half of it pulls off and the rest of it's still left on your face. And it doesn't pull off as easily. But so far I'm really, really enjoying it. It's like it feels really good. <laughs> and maybe I shouldn't went over my eyebrows like that, because I can definitely give myself a wax if I needed to. Now right here it broke off, but I didn't put much right there for it to hang on, so. User error. And like I said, don't pull too hard, especially if you put it over your eyebrows like an idiot like I did. You want to rip your hair off. And I just got my eyebrows done. I got caught some of it on around my edges of my hair. So again, don't put it anywhere that you have hair or anything like that. But um, <laughs> this is the result. And looking at it, I see little fine hairs from my face that's pulled off in it. And I actually, like I pulled off some of my um hair from my eyebrows but not a lot which I'm fine with that oh, I got some stuck up in my um but looking at it I mean this thing really pulls like I the little fine hairs in your face and everything um other than that I still have to get the rest of it off my face but feels pretty good at least my face feels soft feel like it dug in did its job and I think I'm quite satisfied and for definitely for the price I'm definitely going to try it again um I want to try the other um ones that they have and yeah like, I'm satisfied. For $1.49, I'm pretty satisfied <laughs> with the results. So, um, again, I'm going to leave um, all of the social media sites, uh, the website, Facebook, Instagram. I um, believe they also have a Twitter and their Pinterest page. Like I said, definitely go try their Pinterest page. Uh, check out their Pinterest page um, they have a lot of other products they also have some stuff for the feet and I believe they also have some creams and stuff so I'm definitely looking forward to trying um, their other products again so um, I give this thumbs up so until next time I'll see you all guys later bye